Hi, it's Hazy and welcome to my channel. Today I am making teeny weeny houses. Yeah, so I'm showing you them on the page and also making a pocket. I've already done that pocket, but um, it's the type of pocket I use um, in several videos. The one where you um, fold the sides down. Ignore that, it's not the same shape. Fold the sides down and then cut little triangles obviously you measure it okay and then you round the corners to those and then bring that up so that it's and then you and then I've put the houses on that it gets that sort of pocket and I've done it loads and loads of times um, there's a an example of it um, on the Monday, uh, Monday the seventh, it'll be in the Monday the seventh video. It'll be coming up. Um, so this is this will be for Saturday, the twelfth, I think. Saturday the twelfth video, and then it'll be it's the previous Monday that I've got the um, video making those. Um, so. That is three and a half inches, so it'd be four and a half inch card by so three and a half inch from there to there, so about seven inches or something like that, six or seven inches. Okay, and then the little thing inside, I'll tell you how big that is. So I want to thank you so much. The people who's given me a thumbs up, that is absolutely amazing if you can do that for me. If every single person did that for me who watches the video, it would help it to um, be seen by lots of more people. And if you watch this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you so much if you can do that for me. And now that's without further ado, <laughs> let's go and I'll show you how to arrange these and make these okay thank you oh, fine yeah right then so what are we making today then yeah look at these little cute oh, let's move that down a bit because that's i'm gonna have it down here aren't i as usual right so <laughs> i don't want to move that out of the way right i've got a little area here hopefully with a I've got a bone folder, you can see the bone folder now, guys. Bone folder, pencil and piece of card. <laughs> right, so these are the teeny weeny little houses we're making today. Easy to make. You can probably tell how to make them already, but you might need some pointers. Okay, that's the only thing perhaps you need. Um, yeah, but... So as you can see, I'm using a pen to go around the edge. <clears throat> right, <clears throat> I've got some made, some partly made and some unmade completely. So I mean, some of these need finishing off. Some of them need just drawing on like this. And I've made a, a beautiful little pocket and I'm going to make a tag to go in there with the houses as well which is nice and um, I'll show you another way of using them as well that I've thought of probably loads of ways you could use them really that's not got any drawings and I'm going to put them up there right that one's not finished let me just do some windows on this ah, don't move there we go So I've got those, all these sorts. So that is a traditional type house. No chimney though. You can put a chimney on that. On the front or back of the house. I've got one on the front somewhere. There's the one on that. I've got different sorts as well. I'll show you. Is this the one on the front? Yeah. 
I'll show you the different sorts as well in my that oh, did I bring the book? I might not have brought my book upstairs, but uh, right, that one's got no door. Right. So I might have to look for my book because I'm gonna show you my little drawings that I'd copied out of I'll show you where. Okay. And there we go, and there's my ideas as well. House clusters, you can make clusters from them or put them on a strip or what I've done pockets and things like that. Right, okay, so these are my ideas, right? Which ones have I done? I've done most of them, I think. I haven't done that one. That one's supposed to be with a porch. <laughs> a house and a porch. Like the American style houses with a porch. It's very small though, isn't it, compared with lots of American houses. Um yeah, they're sort of like, you can do them lopsided like that. I've done that a couple of times. That's quite easy. I'll show you how to make them. So let's, um, I mean, they're ever so easy. You just cut triangles. <laughs> triangles. I, know, I do cut them on the thing as well. And I do have a rule, but you don't have to have rules. Right then. So I've got my, this is my, oh. Oh, it's a piece of uh, actual card. I'm not sure whether to use that. That's what I've used for my drawing, so I could use a piece of this. So let's have a nice tall house. Right, I am. I have not measured them, so I'm not even sure how big they are. Let's have a look, see how. That's basically two inches tall, that one. Then I've got the roof on, which is probably about an inch by the looks of it. It's massive. Yep, so the mixture's about three inches. And then there's that sort of thing. It's just probably just over two inches altogether. And uh, let's see, where's those houses I was going to show you? I haven't finished the um, black pen. But there's these. Look, there's the chimney. You don't have to do You can do just that for a chimney. You don't have to put the pots on. Uh, let's do this. I never know which way you like, I suppose. I don't know which way did it go. Okay, so there's sort of like any any old windows. Uh, you don't. Have, there's no specific sorts. You don't have to go into a specific sort. Just represent them like that. I mean, I've done most of my windows are like this. Even though you know, I'm just that obviously went to the side. I didn't mean it to, but it doesn't matter. It adds to the charm. Is that that's the sort of house that yeah I've made that twice I've got a like a did a traditional type house actually that's quite straight isn't it so you'd see down the side then you've got that on the front easy easy peasy that's basically just a rectangle and a house and a roof on top rectangle triangle rectangle triangle with a little fl frilly bit there I've done that you can do that any of us rectangle roof shape what's it a rom uh, is it a rhombus I don't know <laughs> and you'll say shape say, I tell you it's a shape I will say rhombus <laughs> right <laughs> unless it's already gone uh, that's the door and they can have that shape door as well different type of roof there, there's the, there's the original one of those little houses like this. I didn't put a chimney on that one. That's that one. It's got one window. So, look. Plain house. Tall house. Unfinished house. <laughs> Addition house. I like that. It'd be great to live in that one, wouldn't it? You'd sort of have a tower at the tower next to it. It's like a um, sort of like an, uh, perhaps, perhaps they used to mill there or something or make something there 
uh, what my miller would it something they'd make something there perhaps like that don't have to don't have to um have a story at all but that's what i was just thinking okay i like to have a story sometimes though and there's that and that's actually the spots are actually off a shopping top of a shopping list but i've only found one <laughs> so it's the yeah it's supposed to represent bushes and things well i don't know if it does <laughs> it doesn't matter does it no right, i was thinking about the other one doing um sky or something yeah, so have lots of scraps. This is what we're making it from, just scraps. Okay. Okay, I found a piece of green corn. Yay, without having to go downstairs. <laughs> right, so I might just cut that out and make that into that sort of size. I don't know what size it is, I didn't measure it. So it's about three and a half by uh, three and a half. Oh, no, it can't be. Nearly three and a half. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, just over three and a half by nearly three and a half. That's why. <sighs> that makes sense, doesn't it? I know I've got something on it, but that's just a scrap. Right. Um, let's see if this fits. Oh, yeah. If it's that way, and does it fit this way? Yeah, if it's both ways, really. Obviously, something isn't straight, but hey. <laughs> but hey. Right, that's probably about the best way, isn't it? It's probably best because it's quite a small little project, isn't it? So let's start off with any shape. That's too big to me. I haven't got any houses that size. That's nearly no, I ain't got any houses that length I think right so I'm going to cut that one in half let's make a tall slim house okay that'll do anything like that got the dog wandering about um that's a cut piece of it for, oh it's already been used so sometimes I would glue that on and then cut it or sometimes I have the shape ready and then cut it this time I'm going to glue it on Uh, found a pin by the way on the desk but no glue I don't know where any other glue has gone found the pin though <laughs> don't, know. don't know why right so I could put it, could it go that way might save a bit of paper doing that way you can have it a little bit over the edge if you like like that I don't know it's up to you to entirely so these are so easy to do you can design your own little buildings I mean, you can, stick, you can make shops and things, I suppose. That's basically cut willy-nilly. It's not straight, but that's not the point. The point is to make it look like a house. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to find if I want some really contrasting colours. About some of the, um, like an orange or something for the door. That is really, really thin. It's a lot thinner sometimes than what you think. Now you can make. Oh, you can put the door there and put the window. Yeah, that sounds better, doesn't it? Right, let's get some. Let me get that colour. Yeah, don't choose. Don't take too long choosing the colours. But if you can't find. I'm looking for a, uh, oh, there's, no, that's pink, that's too pink, isn't it, compared with that. Uh, like this one, that's another pink. Um, put this. We could use the windows for this, couldn't we? This is 6 by 6 paper. I've used. Um, you can make them square or uh, rectangle, have them all the same shape, have them all different shapes. Round, have little round ones as well. Right, that's quite a... I can't see that very well, can you? But I'm going to use it. So you can put one there, one there. I'll put little blobs of glue and one there. 
but you've got plenty of, I've actually got loads caught all at the bottom of my thing I was carrying my stuff in. Like windows actually, windows actually go, sometimes go right up to the roof, but you can do what you like. Can't see anybody, can't see anybody's house from here. Yeah, they just basically got right up to the roof. Yeah, because it's lots of greenery around here. Right, okay, so that's there. Right, I'll just get a little bit of glue. I don't think I've got enough. Not enough. There we go. Glue. Oh, I glued the um, door down. Oh, that's not going to be very good. We won't be able to open it. What doesn't represent the door? <laughs> Nobody's at home. Nobody's at home because there's no door. There we go. Right, okay. So then we get rid of all the excess glue. I've got a thing there somewhere and it actually spread. I don't know if it would help me spread the glue, but let's have a look, see if it would. Still don't think it's going to do it, is it? I think it still needs a little tiny bit. There we go, that'll do probably. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, see, there's another pin there, it's that one. Right. I don't know where the uh, other thing's gone. Right, and then what I would do, I'd do a several actually, I would do several, and then I would do this. I'd go all the way around with a black pen. This is a drawing pen actually, Man Mangaka Fle Flexible. You don't have to have this. You can you can just use a thin sharpie or something. Just do traditional windows. You can draw them anyhow. You don't have to. It's a bit like whimsical, isn't it? You don't have to draw them at all. You can just stick. If you think it shows up enough, I would uh, just stick them on. But I think it's better. Let me go. So you can see it. There we go, like that. I'm just drawing in from the edge. I suppose you can ink them up as well instead. I wouldn't. Oh God, that take ages. <laughs> that would take ages. Wanted just to ink them little bits up. Right. Um, let's do a different shape one. Let's do another cow. Oh God. And don't tell me she wants to come in here. Can you hear her? She's meowing away. Yeah. Right. So let's get some of this very pretty paper. Let's get that. So if you notice I'm just cutting, I think that's going to be far too big and that's not going to be straight. doesn't matter if it's not straight obviously but that looks about the right size. Let's get some, I'll use pink this time because this is better. I've used, been using these for windows, don't have to. And uh, how about a roof? We have for the roof. Is that? Yeah, that could be right. Come to that, could be fine. Let's get that strip of paper on there. I'm going to do the roof next, and they were. I'm going to put the windows. This is one of those things you pull off the twelve by twelve paper. Oh, it's not far enough up there. It will do, but let's do a little bit further. If it was from the front, you could probably leave it like that. But I'm going to make it a shape. Okay, like this. So there. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna have pink windows. Is that gonna be a bit boring? Like green or something. Right. Should have green. So I've cut a load of yellow. I have found some green, but I've decided on yellow. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So you can change your mind, especially if you want. Because I mean, if everything's pink, it's gonna look a bit odd, isn't it? I'm just gonna put the three top ones up there. I don't know that my windows are the same colour, you don't have to do that so uh, either, so I can do even different shapes like that. And I'm going to have, this is quite a big house actually because I don't think I've got any of this size. Right, yeah. yeah, I hear a meowing lady. Oh, I've just had an orange door, let's have a see little bits of scraps like this. That's the biggest, that's probably the biggest house I've got, actually. Yes, cat's meowing.
There we go. Oops, get rid of that. Yeah. Do if you can hear my son coughing. We went to doctor's last night. It's all his throat. <laughs> it's not his chest. Right. Uh, so that's another little one there. Yeah. Can we see it? Okay. It's a bit dark today, isn't it? Hmm. Let's put the little light in the light. Don't let that makes any difference. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to make some of those. One of those weird shaped houses with the pointy bit there for you. It's ever so easy to make. Okay, so I've just put the roof on. And it looks like that from the front, so we're leaving it about the same as what it is. So straight like that. Right. So like this. And then, oh, let's find a nice piece of, yeah, you know, what about one of these? That'll do, that'll be perfect. Something like that. So you want something thin like that. Let's have a look and see how big we need that. So about the, about as big as that. And then I'm going to cut it down so we've got that roof shape there. Doesn't matter if you don't get it right because it's whimsical really, isn't it? Right, so that can go there. I, I'm putting them back here or something, aren't I? I could put, uh, actually put a window that side this time as well as two there. So that's this cute one, isn't it? And then we can have uh, not pink one. <laughs> oh, well, let's see if I can find another one. I've got other colours. Oh, blue. Got some blue. Let me just cut some blue. Right, so I've done a little thin one, which traditionally I'll put here. <laughs> I suppose it's like a little attic window, isn't it? Right. Because that's what was on the original picture, that's all. Little window there. It's not, not a real house, it was like a, oh, it's a drawing off Pinterest or something. we put a window. I'll put it at, should I put it at the top there? couple of windows here and one there. Oh, you can have the door, you can have the door there, can't you? Or there. Or two doors. I've got a big door. Or, or, uh, so I'm using the same colours. <laughs> I could put two doors. Right, I'm going to have <laughs> yeah, let's have some inventions here, shall we? Um so I'm gonna make a little um Arched door, actually. Arched door. <laughs> yeah, I've got arched doors in some of my buildings, so somewhere. Right, so I'm just going to try and cut that around there. That doesn't matter if it's not it's not right either. So that can go there. So that's got a nice big entrance door there. So that can go there, and then we can have a normal door here, can't we? Um, orange, no. Um, I'm looking for colours I haven't. Yellow one. So the tiny little things, aren't they? Not much over half an inch, that one. You probably need less, actually, yes. So it will be about half an inch. Now, you've got a bright yellow door there. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the windows. Okay, there we go. So if you don't understand that, that's actually viewing it from the side, so that would, the roof would be sloping if you turned it that way. <laughs> yeah, so that would be more like that shape there. Right, okay. Um... Yeah, it'd be like that at the sides. Right, okay. Um, let's think now. What kind of else can I show you? What about one of the did I show you one of the it's pretty obvious, I've done that one, haven't I? Yeah, I've done that one. Um I mean if you wanted a bit of a flatter roof there, you could just cut that. Yeah, I've got things like that, which is similar. 
I've got yeah that one which is one of those but shorter and one of these and they're just a very elongated thin piece of perhaps something like this that I've had you know the side like that so you've got something thin don't say I can't use that it's too thin you can we can put a little roof on uh, let's try and find one I've got an orange one so you can put that on there and Well, I do want to cut those as aim for the middle. <laughs> it doesn't always work, but yeah. Okay, something like that. I mean, that's different to this. And then I'm going to add some windows. Now I can add a door as well, a different colour. Um, but to find something that's going to stand out really. Right, yeah, that pink one though. It's too big. Could use that as a window now. Uh -huh. That's still too big. Yeah. It's gonna have quite a small little. So whoever lives there is not very tall, they've built that house to suit themselves. But they like big windows, I think. And then you can join it to another one, say, um, I don't know, let's see if I've got one to join it to already. Oh, I know what I can do. I can make a really small, I could join it to that. Really small one. I'm going to do the same colour. I'm going to have the raggy bit here as well. Aim for the middle. Put a I'm going to put one window and one door in here. Uh, door. Another pink door. Oh, should we just have two windows because we've already got the door, haven't we? There's the yellows. I'm having the same colour. There we go. Uh, we've got that. We've already got the door. So what do we do then? We join it. I join it like this. Um, something to join it with. That will do. Let's put that on there. So that's on there. Joined. We use washi tape, I suppose, as well. There we go. So that's what sort of thing I do for that. And obviously we're going to put the pen round it. There, that keeps that. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so that sort of thing. Yeah, so that's easy, isn't it? So it's all easy. You see what I mean? It's very... That's one, that's my big one. Right, so let's have a piece of card then, because I was going to do this, wasn't I? Is this the one? I was going to show you this first. I was going to show you something else. It's around the corners. Well, I round the corners with the small. I round all the corners, not sure if you're going to see them. The, bottom, the top ones anyway. Right, I'm just going to check and get the right way around. So there was a way... What was that? What was that, Bob? Oh, it's my blending tool. For that's gone down there. Or my dauber, if you like. Robbery door I used to go right, it's that way around and then this way. Uh, yeah, so that's the way around I want to. So I'm gonna have to put some houses, gonna have them poking up. Okay. Um don't know what. Yep, yeah, scissors want to join in, not sure how to have this, whether to have it like that, and then have ones in the front. Like that. A bit further down, I don't know. It's sort of here. It doesn't matter which ones, but 
Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, I could have it three level, couldn't I? Like that. And then one there. Or something there. Like another one of those. Um, don't want to hide them. <laughs> Right. And this is ones I haven't finished yet. What about that? I haven't finished that, so I could put that there. And perhaps one more at the back. Or two more at the back, or a big one at the back. Um, Oh, like that. I don't know. Put something there, sentiment or something. Tiny house. Um. Right, should we have it like that? Let's do that. I don't know. <laughs> They're going to be hidden a lot of the time, like that doesn't matter. So that's going to be there. Right, so we're going to put these two down first. I'm going to put them, I'm going to try and put them about the same level. So that one's just going to have its house uh, roof above the, because that could be your tag, couldn't it then? Tab, tag, tab, that's the word. Not your tag, your tab. Right, so the tab's going to go there. That can come along the same level. Bits of joining in. You'd be able to see the bottom, would you? Right, so we could have that as much as you can there. So, oh, yeah, that's what I joined it together with. I'll have that in there if possible. I wonder if that'd be alright. If that's not alright, I'll have to cut it off. <laughs> that little bit sticking out there. And then we want uh, this Where's the one I haven't. Oh, it's that. Right, so I was going to put that one there, wasn't I? Right, and. It doesn't matter about that. I could put some pen round it, couldn't I? And put that somewhere. Definitely this here. No. Well, there's that one. Or oh, this one. See if it fits. So then you've got I'm journaling whatever on the back. Let's see if that fits in. Yeah. There you go. Then there's an extra piece of the town there behind. Isn't that good? Oh. Yeah. Hopefully I showed you that okay. Um, yeah. Oh dear. We a bit fell down, aren't we? Well, it should be about here, shouldn't we? Unless I moved it down again. Right then. So that's. Um, that then, let me show you something else. I've got, I've got to find it first. Oh, it's in that packet up there. So I'll do it in my, um, let me show you my prototype. Uh, this. Show you this instead. What you can do, right, journal, journal, yeah? Journal idea. Yeah, my journal's right up there in a the bag and I put it in a bag. I thought, well, I know where my journal is. But now, of course, I'm thinking, I can't, no, I don't want to get it out. Right, so you could put them like this on the on the um, on your pages, like a row of interesting houses, something like this. I think you can get a thin one somewhere. There's this one, but it's a bit unfinished, and I didn't finish the other one off, did I? On the uh, journaling card. 
you can use your magic prison guard door <laughs> you can't get in actually you can imagine the doors around the side if you like as well right so you've got um three with the same sort of roof <laughs> so maybe you'd want to swap that around but don't it look nice that does look nice don't it right okay let's see if i can find a different roof So you've got, um, we could do that, you could do that uh, village idea, you know, or town idea as well, couldn't you, like, in your, on a journal page, well, it's different roofs obviously, <laughs> I've got the same roof again, right, very popular roof that is in this town, right, okay, but we don't want to look all the same, do we, as, as our neighbours, you could also make some just roofs and bits to, as well, without putting the things on if you wanted to do that, because that's, and I've just found, one's gone onto the floor somewhere, Okay, I'll put just an upstairs windows or something. That looks nice as well, doesn't it? Let's have a look at the oh, there you can't see it. There you go. So that's what I'm doing there, look. So I've got the look, I don't know why, but this does not fall into the category of where it is supposed to be. But I quite like the single idea with the different you know, different oh at least I've got a different roof on that one. So that one's got one of those little arched doorways as well. Um, we can do chimneys. Oh, we've both got chimneys there. Um, odd shaped houses. Um, yeah, so that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Teeny weeny houses. So you can produce that as your tab. Pull it out. No reason why not. Or you could put it in the middle and do it. But there's nothing wrong with being at that edge. They could have it. Yeah, not that one. It's got, they've got the same roof. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do this. There you go. You could also draw them on, I suppose, if you wanted to do it like that. But I think they look really nice when they're stuck on like that. I did think about it first, but I thought, no, let's stick them on. So it doesn't take long to cut a little tiny few strips like that. You could use tweezers if you can't pick them up. Um, we could try and use, I don't know, <laughs> they're a bit fiddly, aren't they? Okay, have you got grandkids? Yeah, that's a good idea. Grandkids to stick them on for you. Yeah, yeah. They would like that. Right, so that's the, there you go, there's, it's going to, I suppose you could put a little spire as well, if you like, because <laughs> sometimes you have spires, don't you? In villages. Um, uh, that makes a anyway. That makes a gorgeous little um, journaling spot idea. Or I suppose you could put it on the that that. <laughs> I suppose you could put it on the page. I'm trying to say that and it together. I think with one of those with a that. And perhaps even some at the top, I don't know. Would it go? Oh, there's the one with the two windows and the door. <laughs> oh, dear. I saw that on a something. Can we see that? You can't even see that, can you? Can you? No, not that. I'm doing it up here a lot. Yes, and down here. So they can make a whole page of houses, couldn't you? And then that in the middle, it makes a little if there's a street streets here and then a little cluster of houses in the middle again there yeah representing more of the countryside <laughs> i don't know that's on a green page <laughs> yeah <laughs> something like that yeah yeah you could put trees i suppose as well little trees um i don't know you could put little trees i did think of doing trees to this but i thought no because yeah hmm. no because yeah no hmm. <laughs> no because yeah that makes sense Right, there we go. No, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that would go there. You could put that there. It doesn't matter if it overlap there because that's not glued down. How about, oh, I'm going to show you. Right, let me do that again. There, bit so I can get hold of it. Right then. Now, this should show you a bit more of the, the cover. Right then, so what I've done is, I don't think I showed you it, so I'll go through it again. I've put laid houses around that outside. I have not glued them on, but obviously you could do that. Uh, and then I've put the pocket here. And it doesn't matter if it overlaps there because obviously that's not glued on. That's just loose. You could put a tuck spot here. Yeah, I love tuck spots. And uh, 
whatever you like under it, you know, and things like glue them all down. That looks absolutely adorable to me. I don't know about you. Teeny weeny houses, aren't they cute? Such a perfect little uh, way. Anyway, anybody just give me a thumbs up today or any time. Thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate it. Anybody who's subscribed to my channel as well, I really, really appreciate you doing that for me. Um, doing that helps the channel grow. Also, um, give me a thumbs up helps the video to be shown around uh, a bit more. So, you know, what about... What about a hundred thumbs ups? <laughs> I don't think I'll get many. <laughs> so if you haven't, if you don't usually do that for me, can you do it for me? Um, thank you so much. And anybody who hasn't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to uh, have you. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, so don't worry about that. I've, as I said the other day, I've got two hundred ninety three, probably two hundred ninety four now. Uh, people I'm subscribed to, and it doesn't cost me a penny. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.